Programming Cone Fire Mode. From Idle Mode, press the Cone Fire key. The first question it's going to ask you is whether or not you want to preheat the kiln. A preheat is commonly used for large pieces with thick walls or pieces that may not be quite dried out yet. When a preheat time is entered, the kiln will rise at a rate of 60 degrees per hour Fahrenheit until it reaches a temperature of 180 degrees Fahrenheit and then it will hold at that temperature for the time you have entered. When the time has expired, the kiln will then begin the cone fire mode program. If no preheat time is desired, simply enter all zeros and then press enter. If you would like to preheat the kiln, enter the time in hours and minutes. Remember, to the left of the decimal point is hours and to the right is minutes. Next the controller will ask you to enter a cone value. All commercial clays and glazes should have a cone value printed on the packaging. If you are unsure of the cone value, consult an expert before you proceed. Cone values with a leading zero fire much cooler than cone values without them. For example, a cone 06 will fire to approximately 1828 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas a cone 6 will fire to 2232 Fahrenheit. After you've entered your cone value, press enter. Next the controller will ask you to enter a firing speed, slow, medium, or fast. Depending on the cone value, a slow firing will take approximately 12 hours. It is recommended for most large pieces, pieces that may have some moisture in them, or pieces that may have bubbles in them, such as children's pinch pots. A medium firing will take approximately 7 hours and is recommended for most average sized, well dried pieces. A fast firing will take approximately 4.5 hours and is only recommended for firing such as lusters and decals. Once you have selected your speed, press enter. The controller will now ask you if you want to hold at peak temperature. A 5 minute hold is often helpful to help the kiln balance out, help glazes flow, and make small adjustments to cone bends. It is rarely recommended to hold for more than 20 minutes. If no hold time is desired, enter all zeros and then press enter. If you would like a hold time, enter the time desired and then press enter. It is extremely important to remember that everything to the right of the decimal point is minutes and everything to the left is hours. After you have entered your hold time, the kiln will return to idle mode. It is good practice to press review to make sure all the data you have entered is correct before pressing start to begin the program. After you press start, the display will briefly show on and then we'll show the internal temperature of the kiln chamber unless a delay start has been programmed, in which case it will begin counting down minutes from the designated delay time.